Supreme Court of Pakistan has issued a detailed 70-page verdict declaring the Election Commission of Pakistan's decision to award PTI's reserved seats to the regime's parties as unconstitutional. In the detailed judgment, the judges said the Election Commission failed to, quote, uphold democratic principles and the integrity of electoral processes, unquote. The military-backed regime, even after stealing PTI's mandate with forged election documents, fell short of a majority to form government, after which the biased Election Commission awarded it PTI's female and minority share of reserved seats. In his address on Sunday, Chief Minister Ali Amin Khan Gandapur announced a series of public protest rallies across the country, beginning from Kaptan Imran Khan's hometown of Miawali on September 29th. Mr. Gandapur said that the party's movement will continue until the people are free from the current system of tyranny and oppression, and that every sacrifice will be made for democracy, for the constitution, for Imran Khan, for the nation, and for the country. Speaking of the controversial constitutional package that the illegitimate regime seeks to bring about, the Chief Minister said that there is no ambiguity in the party position that quote we do not accept any new unconstitutional amendment or the establishment of an illegal constitutional court we stand for the rule of law independence of the judiciary and the constitution unquote Police have become active in their efforts to arrest Pakistan Tehreek and Saf's Punjab president Hamad Azhar, who attended and addressed the party's rally in Lahore. The illicit government of Punjab has yet again shown their frustration at PTI's power show and continued public support for Imran Khan and his party, despite every imaginable obstacle being placed in their way. Hamad Azhar has been hounded by the security forces since last year in connection with the May 9th false flag events of 2023. The Express Tribune reported on Sunday that in a bid to achieve the 2024-25 to 25 fiscal year's over-ambitious tax target, the government has decided to collect 450 billion rupees through enforcement measures by aiming to digitally capture 48 trillion rupees in services sector supplies over the next three months. Journalist Asad Thur said that the FBR has so far collected only 500 billion rupees in September against the required of 1.2 trillion rupees, with only one week left. Al Jazeera, the broadcaster from Qatar, reported that heavily armed masked Israeli troops raided Al Jazeera's bureau in the occupied West Bank city of Ramallah and imposed a 45-day closure in their latest push to curtail the network's coverage. Correspondent Hamda Salhat posted a video on X and stated that the Israeli occupational forces tore down pictures of veteran Palestinian journalist Shirin Abu Akleh at Al Jazeera's office. Dropsite News reported Al Jazeera's bureau chief Walid Al Omari as saying that Israeli soldiers confiscated and destroyed the equipment in the broadcaster's law office, even though the court order only called for shutting down the office.